uh, Dr. Behar, um, patients are very curious to know how the genetic mutation tests are carried out in the MDS. Excellent question. So in reality, we look at the genetics of MDS in two different ways. The first, which we've done for quite a long time, is to look at the structure of the chromosomes themselves. As you may know, our genetic information is condensed in chromosomes in each cell, and abnormalities of chromosomes are typical of MDS, present in about 50% of cases. So I describe a cytogenetic or a karyotype analysis looking at the chromosomes somewhat like flying over a city in an airplane and looking down to understand if entire blocks are missing. It's a very high level view, but can tell us a lot about whether or not this is likely to be MDS and what the risk associated with it is. The second kind of test that we do is genetic testing of individual genes. And this is more like driving down the street to see if an individual house is missing. It's a much higher resolution view and is focused on specific areas of the genome, specific genes that we know are related to MDS. And the way the tests are carried out are typically by doing a bone marrow biopsy, looking at the cells under the microscope as they're trying to divide where the chromosomes are in full view and noticing if there are any missing pieces. For genetic tests that look at individual genes, we collect the DNA from these cells, purify it, and then send it to a sequencing lab where individual genes are read out one letter at a time noting if there are any, any changes that, from what we would expect that would indicate the presence of a mutation.